I don't have that shirt on right now. <laughs> yeah. What are you planning on being for Halloween this week? <laughs> I don't know. That's a that's a good question. Might have to go to Party City and find something. You know? <laughs> that's true. That is true. <laughs> You guys put some black on the uniform this week to help out with the Halloween theme? I honestly don't know what we're going to do with Halloween. I'm just going just gonna to try to get a W, that's all I know. Joe, you guys as a team run for over 400 yards. Do you ever dream of running for that kind of amount, especially on the road at a good opponent? I mean, yeah, that's like that's our goal every week to try to get as many yards, especially running the ball. Like, O-line, we just like love to dominate the trenches. So, I mean, like going to an opposing team's house and – Put them numbers like that. That's a that's a great accomplishment. But we try to, I mean, we try to put up as many like rushing and passing yards as we can as a as a offense. Four sixteen. Yeah, something around at four sixteen. Yeah. When the game was over and you saw the final numbers, obviously you knew you guys were dominating. But did the numbers still kind of bother your mind just a little bit? I mean, yeah, a little bit. Like, I mean, our main goal every game is to try to get at least two hundred in each category. But like. When we saw that we were getting close to 400, we were like, we got to get it. Like, it just, it just pushed everyone going. Like, when we had, uh, like, our backup saying, we are like, guys, let's go. We got to get it. Like, you got to get it. Like, you got to go. So, I mean, it's, it's a good driving force. And, you know, it's, it's a great thing when you can accomplish with one of the goals like that. As, as a senior offensive lineman, how does it feel to see all the young guys getting the playing time and actually getting the rewards of actually, you know, some good time in there? I mean, it's exciting because, I mean, that's, like, that's the future of the program. So, I mean, like knowing that we're leaving, and, like leaving the team in good hands like that, that's that's really exciting. Look forward to you know seeing them play next year and stuff like that. So. Is this the most confident the offensive line has been since you've been in Clemson? I mean, I feel like we're always confident, you know, but I mean, I mean, I feel like there's a little more than you know normal, but yeah, I feel like we're all, we've always been confident. But there's there's a little something this year, I think, this year. Do you feel like the offensive line is backing it up more just through rushing numbers? I mean. I feel like we're just backing it up by coming out and playing every game to our, our hardest, like as hard as we can, and just you know trying to put us, put up whatever numbers like happens, like whatever happens. But like I feel like we just come out and play as hard as we can every game, you know, and just try to end up with a win. I think that's how we're backing it up. Like numbers aren't really anything; it's just as long as, long as we get a you know a W in that column, that's all that counts. The offense has now had three straight games of 520 plus yards. What's enabling you guys to move the ball with such efficiency? Um, it's the coaches. They they get us prepared every week. You know they they come out with a good game plan. And, you know, and we trust them. And we just execute the game plan. So I definitely put that. I put that in their hands. That's all on them. That's a good play calling. You were hosting a potential offensive line recruit in the recruiting season, and he asked you about Clemson and Coach Caldwell and what he did for you over the last four years. What did you tell him? Uh, I tell him that you know he's going to push you to be your best. Like and. He will forget that you're a freshman, so I mean, that, but the, all coaches do that. But you know, you you just gotta believe in like buying what he's saying and just you know give him maximum effort, and you'll see the results in the end. What stands out about NC State's defense? They're ranked third in the country in total defense. What have they done well this year? Uh, I feel like they have. They're pretty good at you know, like they're they're pretty good at mixing up what they do on defense. They're they're like. Some games are really good at stopping the run, and some games are really good at you know stopping pass. But like, I feel like just they have a really good mix of like they have a really good balance on their defense. Uh, their defensive line seems to be like their strong front to me, and I, I feel like it's going to be a good challenge to us because you know they have a lot of guys that they mix in and out. So it'd be a, it, it'd be a pretty good challenge. Along the lines of keeping everybody humble and, and just keeping that business like approach, no matter the success you guys have had. What what is Deshaun's demeanor and his leadership kind of meant? I mean, he's always like, even when he like when he first got here, he's always had like the same kind of demeanor. It's just like, you know, calm, laid back, you know, humble. It's like he's just being himself. Like that's all. I mean, that's all you can really ask for a guy. Like that. He's just being himself, and it shows. It's like keeping everybody like in check. Because I mean, if someone is like in a bigger spot, like like he's a, he's the quarterback of a college football team that's on a, that's like on a winning track right now. So like. That's like cause for so many distractions, and like the way that he carries himself and keeps his poise, it's, it's like makes you look up to him. Even like for me being an older guy, it kind of like makes you look up to him. So I mean, you expect one of these weeks that maybe if you guys keep putting together win after win after win that you might see a little a little extra excitement or a little something different. I mean, 
I mean, we're always excited no matter what, but like, I don't think it's going to be anything extra. I think it's just going to be like, this, he's going to be him say, like the same, like Deshaun that he always is. Like, that's what that's what I look in, like when I see him to him. Like, the same person every week. I feel like we've handled distractions pretty good. I feel like we're pretty good at handling our distractions. I mean, not, we haven't had many over the years, but like the ones we have, we've dealt with them and like we've just handled them like, and we haven't let them like get in the way of anything that we like our goals that we've set and stuff. So, I'd say yeah. Two years ago specifically, like before that Florida State game, was there something different in the locker room? Just I mean, we all saw what happened on game day during the week. Uh, not really. I mean, we just. We prepared and did everything, but I guess I, I really don't know. Like honestly, how like it just happened. I don't know. It's just one of those things that you, you can't really, you know, take back. But like, if I could go back and pass and do stuff different, I would. But like, I mean, there's, I mean, there's nothing you really can say about it. It just happened. Can you learn from it? Of course, you can always learn from. You can always learn from it. Victor or defeat, there's like, no matter what, Victor or defeat, you can always learn from it. So, I mean, yeah, there's definitely things in that we can learn from. I know you wouldn't have traveled with the team in 2011 mm-hmm. when y'all play NC State, but what do you remember about <coughs> just leading into that game and afterwards? Uh, well, back then it was a little different because, I mean, obviously we didn't have, like, we had we had great leaders back then, but, like, we had had we haven't had leaders who like had been in a winning position like that, so it was like a little different, and like everyone was just like overhyped and you know like too overexcited about like like our stats and our winning and stuff like that back then, and I think that's what kind of led to our downfall because like it's it's almost like we lost concentration, but I don't think we did, but it's like um, that's kind of almost how it felt because we were like not concentrated on our opponent and stuff like that. So you are still. Yeah. What are you What are you more proud of? The fact that you threw 420 yards against BC, or you ran for 416 against Miami? Uh, <laughs> that's a good. One. I mean, I'm proud of both of them, really. But like, I I like the fact that we ran for 416 because I mean. Anybody can just chuck the ball up at any time, you know. You don't, you don't really need a lot of time to protect quarterbacks at, like, half the time nowadays. Like, you, they get a ball in and out so fast, but, like, having to physically move people and, like, open up gaps for someone to run, is like, it's a big accomplishment. I, I feel like that was, like, something I'm more proud of. What does that say about the versatility of the offense? Uh, I mean, we're, we have a very versatile offense, like, I mean, Teams have been trying to do different things. You know, some people try to stop the run, and we just pass the ball. And some people try to stop the pass. We run the balls. I mean, it's it's a uh, we, we have a really versatile team. Like, I, I feel like we can do whatever we need to. Anything the coaches dial up, I feel like we can execute. Is that the way you kind of sustain success that y'all had this season? I think so. Yeah, I feel like like we just because we just uh we just do what the coaches ask of us, and you know, we prepare how they like teach get us prepared. You know, we just like do what they ask us to do. I feel like that's what's really keeping us there, you know. Just what makes you guys maybe as a team kind of the perfect storm, if you will, the fact that you know you got a top 15 scoring offense, you got a top 15 scoring defense, and there's nobody else in the country other than Ohio State that can make that claim. I mean, yeah, like, because, like, off, obviously offense can't win the game by themselves. So, I mean, having a defense that's, like, doing, like, stuff like that, putting up numbers that the way they are and, like, Keeping like teams under certain yards, like their average yards and stuff like that, it's it's amazing. Like like having having able, like being able to claim that is that's that's amazing, you know. How do you feel about your play as an individual? I feel like my play's been pretty good so far, you know. What game did you grade out the best this year? <sighs> that I honestly don't remember. <laughs> uh, I try not to like pay too much attention to that. I just try, you know. I just try to go out and do what I'm supposed to do to get a win. I really don't pay attention to how I grade out in the end, really. When you guys are in the O-line together, do you always take more pride in the running stats and the running game than you do in the past? Uh, honestly, honestly, we take pride in do, like both. But I mean, yeah, I feel like I feel like we take more pride in getting better running stats because I mean, 
we have to actually physically move people. So I mean, yeah. Like passing, you can just you just sit back and wait, and half the time, some and there's sometimes like there's people who are just like helping. But like when you're running, you have to like everyone's almost by themselves trying to push somebody out of the way. So I mean, it it, it causes for a little more pride. I feel like. All set. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. Sir.